Hi guys, Solomon here. Um, so uh, I'm working on this cool C++ project and I kind of just wanted to share it to LinkedIn and YouTube just, you know, to some of the followers I have and kind of, uh, you know, just because I find it interesting, I thought I, sh I should share it. So what it, the application that I'm building is a keylogger and what I'm building it in is C++ uh, just to enhance some of my C++ skills, uh, being a PHP, you know, what PHP developer and a web developer, uh, going into the world of C++ was a bit difficult. And so uh, I had to think of some type of project that would be cool uh, to uh, complete. And so I settled on a C++ keylogger. So what uh, the application technically is spyware and uh, Trojan uh, kind of mixed together because the way this keylogger works is it acts as if uh, it is Google Chrome and uh, say you open the application, the .exe file, uh, it opens up Google Chrome for you and everything behaves as uh, normal, as normal as if you would open up any other Google Chrome tab, except in the, uh, you know, a hidden process that's running is uh, a little keylogger that's tracking every single keystroke that you make to your keyboard. And so uh, I'm just going to kind of demonstrate how that works and how I have that set up. Uh, and how one can take preventative measures of preventing something like this. So, uh, yeah. So let's open uh, Visual Studio Code over here. Or actually, let's go back to the Keylogger and follow the steps. So I already have the uh, application installed on my machine, of course, because this is where I built it at. So if I want to get it started, um, all I got to do is copy this command right here and paste that into my VS Code terminal. All right. And so this created our uh, chrome.exe file. And so this is the file that would be distributed, uh, you know, across the network or across uh, on the internet or something like that, just acting as if it's Google Chrome. So if we look at it in the Explorer, reveal an Explorer, pull that over here, you can see it says Chrome and it even has the Google Chrome icon over here. Um, so yeah, so uh, I'm just gonna kind of demonstrate how, uh, you know, the process of, you know, how this uh, application runs. So say we were to run this exe file, as you can see, it opens up Google Chrome and everything looks as if it's normal. So, you know, let's type in Google, or you know what, let's say, the new news you know and uh here we are you know everything's behaving as normal as it should or as you think it as you think it would but uh in the uh, back end or that hidden process um we have a keylogger file being saved so if we look at our code over here and we find where the file is being stored. I do have a few things to do left uh, uh, left over, like, um, you know, acting. So if this, if this is a real spyware application, it would send out emails or send out, you know, the actual key log file to the person that's spying on them. So that hasn't been complete yet. And uh, also, I got to figure out where I should probably store the uh, application because be, because right now I just have it stored within the um, within the Google Chrome program file application. So let's open up the, let's try to find that key logged file. So let's go to computer, let's go to program files, let's go to Chrome or Google, go to Chrome application, and uh, here we are. So as you can see, this is the odd text document that's, that has been generated just today. So if we click on this, as you can see, it actually has some of the information that we, uh, um, or some of that key logged info already saved. So we did type in Google and we typed in news, if you recall, and uh, that's all being saved into that key log file. And so if this was a real key logger, what would be happening is this file would actually probably be hidden and you probably wouldn't even be able to see it. But what would be going on is, you know, they'd have some type of cron running where every periodically, uh, this keylog file is being sent to the uh, malicious person that's trying to spy on you or something like that. So this is this is uh, you know this is the entirety of the application and how that works. And uh, yeah.
Um, is there anything else I should share? Um, oh yeah, there's one other thing was that uh, when you do click on that Chrome application, what ends up happening is it replaces the Chrome file on your desktop and uh, it acts as the Chrome tab or it acts as the new Chrome tab. So every time you click the Chrome button uh, on your desktop, this key log, this key logger application is being run. So that's kind of how that works. So uh, I kind of wanted to show you how one can take preventative measures on, you know, how to prevent something like this, just because this is very difficult and would be pretty hard to detect if you weren't like a um, pretty savvy with computers. So if we open up our Windows Task Manager, and by the way, this only runs on Windows. Uh, so if we look at some of the applications or processes being run, you can see a lot are Chrome.exe, Chrome.exe. And all of a sudden, you see this one over here where it says Chrome.exe and, uh, you know, a system 32, where you're kind of curious about it. It's not following, you know, the same pattern that all the other Chrome.exe uh, processes are running. So if we look at this, it's not the same Google Chrome application. This is that keylogger file. But, you know, if you weren't being uh, very meticulous and detail oriented while looking at your uh, Windows Task Manager, you'd probably skip over this and not notice this. So if we end this task or end this process, the person is no longer being, uh, you know, spied on or they're not, their uh, keyboard's no longer being logged. So that's kind of how one can take preventative measures against this type of key logged application. And of course, I'm not, you know, distributing this for the purposes of being malicious. I just wanted to build a cool project and show how one can, you know, uh, prevent, uh, prevent themselves from being spied on by a, you know, a nasty uh, spyware Trojan like this. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that and, you know, share uh, one of the cool projects that I've been working on with C++. So, yeah, thank you.